Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install the stud conversion kit and spacers on my E46 M3. Yes, I'm planning to change the stance, the way it looks to flush everything and make it more aggressive. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Let's roll. Perfect. My E46 is currently sitting with ST coilovers and it is lowered pretty bit. Now, the fact that it is lowered and has some camber because of the lowering springs, you can see that it is not sitting the way you know it's normally should. You have this much gap between the wheel well and the tire. That's why I want to put these spacers to kind of push the wheel out. Now, the reason I want to put the stud conversion kit is just so that you know I have them here looking nice just like the f80 down there and also the e36 when i used to have it stud conversion kit are great especially if you swap tires like me a lot one set right there one set right there and you know you want to make sure that you can do that quickly on the track or on the go this is the way to go stud conversion kit you mount the tire and the wheels bolt them and is it breezy now this is the front set of the way it looks right now as you can see it's not totally flush and if we go on the back you're going to see that it is the same thing now the back is right here you can see that there's a little gap right here that's what i'm trying to close so i'm thinking probably 12 millimeter on the back and 10 millimeter on the front is really what is going to give me the stance and the flush look that i'm looking for now because i've done this job so many times on cars before f80 e36 i'm just going to link video on the installation on the stud conversion kit and spacers on the car and you know if you want to know a little bit more about that go watch those video top right corner i'm going to link them and then come back here and see the finished product so i'm going to go ahead now and change the all four corners of the car show you the finished product so you can really see before and after of all of this this is the back the way it looks again and let me take you back to the front so you can see how it looks this one now if i come on this side you will see that it looks almost the same where you know it's right there sitting low but really not really flush look at the fitment on the f80 for example on my winter tire you can see that it is really pushed further out compared to this one and look at the back right here is meaty that's exactly what i'm trying to replicate this type of look right here on the e46 m3 so let me go ahead and put the wheel start conversion kit spacers and show you the finished product just like that i am done yes you can clearly see the difference so again i put 10 millimeters here on the front and now you can see that i have the poke of the wheel stirred and it is looking beautiful well it's not totally what i wanted but probably i'm gonna have to put like a 12 here so that i can close up a little bit of that fender gap or probably when this tire is done put like a 245 since i have a 225 right here that will definitely fill up the empty gap that i have right now but for now it is looking much 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 better than what it was before so if you have to check the back I have 12 millimeter on the back and you can see oh my goodness this is meaty and i love it look at the fit man it is so good so 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 good normally i think right now with the current tire setup that i have if i have a 15 millimeter all around that would probably give me exactly what i'm looking but since i don't have the fender roll here i am afraid that if i push too much this when i go to like big dips might actually hit but right now i drove a little bit around and it's perfectly fine right now the way it is set up so i think i'm going to leave it the way it is right now and just use it this way oh my goodness it is looking so nice man 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 let me check the other side here as you can see look at the flush fit man look at the back well as you can see it's not like the f80 i mean you can clearly see that the f80 for example here on the back you can clearly see that f80 is much closer when you look here much closer than this one and even lower but i like it this is my goal right here for the back here this is the goal for it to be flush like this on the back so definitely probably the on the back here I might need a 15 millimeter but i'm gonna rock it like this for now 
and then they side later now the wheels still on the back here you barely see them but they are here they are more noticeable on the front because the front tire is not as wide as the back that's why you see them poking up like this but it is nice really nice when you install it like you have to give it maybe 24 hours to cure so i'm going to go ahead now and just talk these two specs 90 newton i mean a foot pound of torque and then call it a day thank you again for watching and hopefully this was informative for you but man 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 looking so nice i can't wait to drive this somewhere now man oh this e46 is looking mighty 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 oh man and the f80 right here and i have another set of tire for the f80 you can see if you look right here so stay tuned man i'm going to install these soon on here and change the look these are the 20s for the f80 that's the new set i'm hiding it right now because i don't want you to see but when you look at these tires you can pretty much imagine what is going to be here so stay tuned to see what's happening on the f80 but on this note thank you again for watching and see you on the next video bye bye